So I told you I'm going to be bringing you the phase two of the project. So in the phase two, I first go by the electrical works, which actually cost me 5,280 CDs for a three bedroom apartment. Okay, a three bedroom with a dining, a hall, a corridor, a guest room, a kitchen. Each room has its washroom. Okay, so th this was actually the estimate for the um, three-bedroom apartment um, of the electrical works. And this uh, part of the project is where the, the uh, what do you call it, the, this part of the project is where the electrician will be cutting the walls, as you can see in the video. This is where the electrician will be cutting the walls. Yes, this is the phase two of the electric cars. They'll be chiseling the wall, cutting the walls before they go ahead and pass their pipes, which is the phase three. Yes, so they are, they, they, there's an each stage in building. Yes, there's an each, uh, sorry, there, there's an each stage in building. Actually, this place will work close later on because we made the changes in the building. So this is actually the phase two of the electric cars were of the electric car with the chisel and install the conduit pipe sorry the conduit boxes and then and extend the conduit pipes and after that they they made a, a raw uh, plastering on the blocks so as you can see this is actually the phase two of the electric car works when building when making your project or when building yes so this is actually the phase two of building in Ghana or any other country let's say it, let's say it that way so this is how the electrical works of the phase two actually goes like so the estimate cost was 5,280 which is the materials cost me 4,080 cities plus the TNT okay and the electrician took 1,200 Ghana cities workmanship which is actually a cool price because she he is one of the um one of the coffee <laughs> people that i know that i can trust okay. so let's go to the um, let's go to the other stage of the phase two which is the fixing of the burglar proofs and the frames okay so the other f um, the other phase was fixing the burglar uh fixing the burglar and the frames okay so then that actually cost me ten thousand nine hundred cities which is both the burglar and the frames okay so actually um the whole thing cost me the whole thing cost me ten thousand nine hundred Ghana cities and when you deduct the two thousand cities workmanship materials cost me eight thousand nine hundred ghana cities okay which includes um um the door frames that i'm uh actually i i first um, um bought a door frames for the for all the room but they were all kept so i decided to change the whole thing and buy wood and made a carpenter do a new handmade frame which which will which will be straightened for me okay so um i changed the whole thing i actually changed the whole frame that i bought okay i changed the whole frame that i bought because they were all curves and they didn't look right okay so this is the burglar this um when we started fixing the burglars this when we started fixing the burglars okay they were actually taking the measurements and there was a mistake um there was a slight mistake um uh, in the burglar and uh, the 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 uh, how do you call it the weather who made the burglar made complete mistake he didn't i, I don't know what, what happened to him because he came to the site to take the measurement but when he brought when he brought um when he brought the final works um there, there was two there were a lot of changes as you can see here as you can see over here you see the measurement didn't fit in right so we had to patch this side for you to make it fit, fit right 
I don't know what happened to the weather for making a lot of mistakes. I, I didn't get the whole thing. I didn't get the whole vibe because he came to the side to the measurement and I, I, I even asked him, is he okay? Is everything okay? He said yes. But when you brought the final words, guy, there was a lot of mistakes and we had to patch most of the most of the windows before the frames will fit in and I, I removed those videos from from the from from editing uh the video because it it it, it can it got me pissed it got me really pissed okay it got me really pissed so i decided to remove those videos uh out of the um, the ones that i edited guys i was so disappointed but it it already happened and the, the, there was nothing we could do about it so we just had to patch the windows because the windows were were, were so much huge like i mean the, the windows were big big like were, were huge and large that 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 can um that more uh that can contain more fresh air but it tends to be we had to patch more of the windows so guys i was so i was so disappointed about that that side okay yeah and one thing that happened in the project too was um uh, we actually made meet uh, one guy who actually helped us some changes in the in the room in the in the project so um actually the 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 the, the room were, were actually small some of the room were actually small especially the master bedroom was actually small so we break some of the corridor and added it to, to the master for the master to have the world those space and also make made it more spacious so uh, we made some changes in that too uh it, it just a, a quick reminder a quick reminder for me not to forget about it i'll keep reminding um you if that video pops up later so this is actually how the burglars you so as you can see there was a space here yet we had to patch here guys i was so disappointed as you can see there's a hole there's a big large space here it shouldn't be that way guys it, it was only the washroom the washroom um the washroom uh, uh windows that uh, burglars that were that fit right and actually the guys uh, burst a pipe when they were chasing the wall when they we were chasing the pillars and um, the window and um, the window uh, pillars so we we, we bought a plaster they they they, they sell a plaster and uh, apply a plaster something and i forget the name how they, how they call it so we bought it and uh, i think it was 200 and cities for just this thing for just this thing but i think it's, it's it's a kind of a complete complete package that you can leave some you can if you can actually use some for other work but we, we actually use um a, a small part of it for this side so we bought this for 200 Ghana cities to fix the bus the bus area the best area the bust area yeah so that's what you see on the screen so you see a quick one okay the windows fit right there but washroom windows fit right but you see this this is the what do you call it the dining area you see it didn't fit so we had to patch it we had to patch it and you see and the frames that i was talking about this this was this was the uh, first frame that i bought that were heavy as you can see this frame were heavy i bought it i actually bought it from one from one shop and you know they were already made so you won't get it you won't get the straightness very well so i was actually uh, later on i actually decided to sell it yeah but I, I've, I've not been able to sell it because Charlie, come on who like this so they were this they, these are the frame that i was talking about the caves frame i decided to change everything so i removed the whole thing the whole frame the whole frame was kept was kept so i removed the whole complete frame yes so this yes so this is the this was the correction that i, I was talking about so yeah, as you can see the frame is yeah so this is the question i was talking about we break this area this this area is actually a corridor so we 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 ward how do you call it we lead blocks from this area this area is actually a corridor this area you're seeing right now is a corridor so we lay blocks to cover that side before demolishing the other end so we close this area we lay blocks to close this area this was one of the corridors that we, we did to close that area and later on we decided to open up uh, we decided to break in um the space leading to the dining hall 
to the corridor to add it to the master bedroom so the master bedroom can have a wardrobe and actually we made a little a slight change in the guest room also as well yeah, the guest room makes a, a slight change at, uh, at first there was there was no washroom in the guest room so we actually break sorry we, we actually um covered up the corridor leading to the guest room we actually wore that area um we actually wore that area and um we divided uh, yes this is what i'm talking about we actually wore this area this area was a corridor also leading to the guest house so um, um in front of this wall there's a there's a de there is the main door to the guest the guest room so we walk here and we use the other end as a washroom for the guest room and we use it as a, as a sort of a, like engine room or something else or studio room or whatever you can call it so we actually wore this area and added the front to the uh, to the guest washroom yes this guy you see over there brought the idea and we sorry and we and we close this area we actually close this area because the tv area will be here actually this area was supposed to be closed already so i think we, we did it and we closed the area also so that's what you're seeing on your screen right now so that was the change that we did okay so let's move to the face let's move to the other stage of the phase two okay so we are done with the burglar so as you can see the estimates on your screen i bought a one one by one pipe 70 pieces two by one pipe three quarter flat bar electrode cutting stone grinding stone white paint actually the materials doesn't cost much depending on my burglar i made i made i didn't make a single burglar i made it a uh, double the bars the bar was double for it to be like thick and strong i didn't make it a single bar i made it a double bar that's what makes my estimate go higher okay so this this was um the total overall cost of the bulk glass and the frame the frame was the frame that i changed cost me 780 cities which is which is normal so they are total of the Burglar minus the um let's see the total the total of the burglars minus the frame will actually cost um ten thousand one hundred twenty cities plus the work master so when you deduct the work master from it it will actually be eight thousand one hundred twenty for the for the materials for the um burglar okay so which is cool right yeah let's, let's move to the other stage so this is the plastering and the corrections this is the plastering and the corrections that you see on the screen yes so the corrections that we made i bought a six inches solid blocks 300 pieces and i bought a five inches hollow blocks 35 pieces which cost 210 ten cities and i bought cement 110 bars for the plastering and the corrections as well and i bought two trips of sand and three inches nail half box and four inches nail half box and a cutting blade one which we use some in the cutting of the of the of the rooms and all that and transportation for all these materials cost 600 gana cities and workmanship for the plastering and the corrections cost 13,500 gana cities which the overall cost me 31,460 gana cities so this was what I'm, i was talking about in the previous video this was some of the questions that we did we added this area to the master because here is a corridor leading to the dining area but it's actually blocked off at this side so we we laid a blocks to cover up this side and we open up we open up the inside we open up the inside of the master i don't know how well i can see that video to show you guys we open up uh we open up in the master we open up that space yes this space we open up this space and add it to the master as you can see there's block over here so we break all this area and add it to the master i will show you that i'll show you the final in the next video or something yeah so this was some of the corrections that we did okay yeah so this was the the final work after we break the we break um that end and we added that corridor to the master so that's what you see on the screen right now so we added that area sorry so we added that area we added this area to the master 
Yeah, so you can serve as a wardrobe and a, what do you call it, a dressing area, uh, a closet. Let, let me let me say that here here is actually a total closet. Okay, so this was some of the things that we did later on, and it, it, it didn't affect anything because there were no place at that area. So I was so lucky. We didn't we didn't place any place on that area that we were able to change that. We were able to make that changes. And another changes was the guest room. Okay, at first the guest room didn't have a washroom. The washroom of the guest was outside the building, which is um which is which is which is close to the master washroom. Okay, so we later on added a washroom in the guest uh the guest in the guest room which. We we demolished the 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 back what do we call the the corridor leading to the guest room. We actually break that area. We actually break that area and divided into two. So we use the other end for the washroom for the guest guest room. So that that that's what you see on your screen right now. Okay. So this how we, uh, this how far it went. They started cutting it, laying the pipes, cutting the floor, laying the pipes outside. It was a whole lot of job, okay, because actually the plumbing works that I did previously when starting the project all all with all was demolished. We demolished everything and started to make all plumbing works fresh because of the change that happened in the project. Okay, so th this is actually the master, what I was talking about, the master, the space that we added to the master, the corner space that we added to the master is what we are seeing right now. So this this place is leading to the corridor area, and this place is leading to the dining area. So we 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 cover up here, and we cover up here too. So yes, it's a closet area for the master. So now the master is having a twenty six meter square area, and this is the master. Sorry, the master washroom. Actually, this area was the guest washroom, which was outside. You 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 need to um go outside the um the building which is uh, which is on the on your left side before you the before the guests would be able to use the washroom because we thought it we thought it that most guests are shy of being using the washroom <laughs> inside but guys there was a big mistake because actually the guest room was a private there was a privacy area for the was a privacy area so i didn't know but actually we did it in a in a way that when you have visitors that are not sleeping over they can use the washroom as well which was a good idea but guys guess what we didn't make that way so I'm, I'm still i'm still thinking about it that we will still need this um guest room yeah we will still need this guest room but guys there's i have some little space on the land so i can do that later on when it's vital so this actually the master bedroom is seen right now so the master is is, is a bit spacious now it's 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 overall it's it's overall floor is um, 27 meters square which is close to the even which is even close to the and uh, the living area the living area is 37 meters square so guys the master is very spacious now i'm so happy and we actually break the guest room the guest washroom area and added it to the master washroom for it to be bigger and wider because we'll be, we'll be using a jacuzzi inside also which is very vital and essential as well okay so let's move to the next phase of the project yes yeah, so as you can see the master have a bigger washroom yes it will be, will be added jacuzzi the dressing area guys it, it will be dope it will be dope it will be dope yes so this is the master the master so the master bedroom that you see on your screen right now yes and this is the washroom the master yes everything looks brighter cleaner and nicer yes so let's move to the other phase of the project the phase two is actually not not all that costly, Christ. You need to be determined that you can make it, trust me. So we did the aluminium works. Actually, the aluminium works, um this aluminium works board. I didn't use this aluminium work. This was a this was an estimate one guy came to give to me, but I didn't use it. I forget to remove it from my project. But guys, I'm gonna do that. I actually didn't use this this guy's aluminium estimate because this guy was a crook yeah. azan is azan is a cheater yes so later on i found somewhere else and the aluminium was was in phase three actually it wasn't it wasn't in the phase two this was an estimate that i added 
when when doing the when when doing my estimate yes so i budget i budgeted actually twenty thousand three hundred forty but actually it came it came it came down to eleven thousand something yeah so actually say almost nine thousand guys guess what this guy could have squandered all this nine thousand messages free okay so let's go to the problem waste in the phase two okay the problem was in the first two actually cost me overall overall cost me ten thousand seven hundred and thirty nine Ghana cities this is the actual this is actually the problem was of the first two okay so everything plus workmanship cost me ten thousand seven hundred and thirty nine which is um the materials um cost me um eight thousand two hundred and thirty nine yes Yes, the materials cost me two thousand two hundred thirty nine. It's because I remake all the plumbing works fresh. Yes, I didn't use the old plumbing works that we started, but that we used when when starting the project because there was a, there's a lot of mistakes in it. So I actually started everything. That's why it makes the phase two of the plumbing works higher. So guys, don't budget for this unless you are also trying to start everything afresh. Okay. Then you can budget for this. This is a three bedroom project uh, estimate that I'm giving to you, so you can know how to I mean check your stuffs out. Okay, and okay, so this is the door fixing. This is the um, fixing my my security doors and the door frames. The the other door frame that I bought, I was talking about in the previous video. Yeah, this is actually the door fixing and the door frames. The new one that I did. So the new door frame that I did cost me 1690 ghana cities and the old one that i bought cost me 780 ghana cities so guys so you know the difference now i bought a correct wood for the for the for the for the newly made frames okay and uh, so the plus the workmanship cost me 1690 ghana cities for everything yes so i bought my italian door um one one and a half door. I bought it seven thousand. Gonna see this during that time, which is um the time. Sorry, which is actually the time that everything the dollar went up. Yes, was when I bought my security door, the Italian door. Yes, so I bought with the one and a half for seven thousand Gonna see this, okay? And I bought a China door, which is the pala pala. What do you call it? Padding door, padding door, something else, something. Or what what do they call it? I bought it for three thousand Ghana cities, which is a uh, one and a half. Yeah. The padding, padding, <laughs> paladin door doesn't cost much because it's a channel door. So I bought it for three thousand Ghana cities, and I use that as the second exit um, of the building, which is the corridor area. So because of, because of the because of its price, I decided to use I decided to uh, face a burglar at that area too, which will be in the next. Which will be in the next phase okay so and i did the slabs for the door which is the iron rods yes for the doors and that also cost me 402 ghana cities and the fixing of the two doors cost me 800 ghana cities that's what i did it within a day and the concrete for the slab door for the door slabs plus carpentry and work labor cost me 440 ghana cities and the door frame yes cost me 1690 so in total the door fixing and the doors plus the door frame that I made cost me 13,332 Ghana cities. So actually this was this was the door frame that I was talking about. Oh actually guys sorry I didn't uh, show you video of the glass frame. I'm gonna do that later. Uh, let me show you the video of the, of the door fixing. I think I did that in the Phase three. I don't know. Okay, guys. So the door fixing is actually not in the phase two in this video. Okay, so let me show you a quick update on the plastering that I did too. So this is actually the plastering, the, the first day of plastering the project. Okay, yes, these are the plastering where the plaster was actually smooth. The guys actually good in plus so they did a very smooth job oh, come on they did a very smooth job okay so this was the plumbing works 
this is why after the plumbing works in the phase two as you can see the curtains they are going to lay their pp out pipes their pp what do you call the pp out pipes the what what pipes and all that so this is actually the plumbing works you see because we start everything at first you can see we are doing a new curtain in the in the in the washrooms and all that so there's a this is how you can see it. This is the um, the master we did we decided to make a washroom we then make a new cutting for the washroom for the master and all that we did a fresh cutting a fresh laying pipe a fresh pipe lanes everything was new we, we decided to do everything new and this is also the the guest room washroom leading to the outside yes we did a new cutting everything we did a fresh plumbing works so there's the plastering there's the first start of the plastering you can see my decking wet well there's no there's no water locked area in the decking when water when when it rains the water all slip out the, there's no stagnant water there's no stag water on the floor yes so this is the plastering how the plastering went yes and it started drying yes so this is how the, the the plumbing works we're actually also moving you see you see the kind of job they are doing <laughs> when covering up the pipe see Charlie, how can this be a form of they, like these people do kind of dirty jobs so they make me spend so much cement guys they made me spend so much cement when i was doing the uh, screening guys so this is the the, the this is the way the plumbing the plumber the plumbers did very bad but very bad job guys i don't want to i don't want to be this um talking bad about people as well so i just have to go with it so this was how uh, the plumbing was and everything went through as you can see on the screen actually i'm so sad i didn't have the video of the of the door fixing i had it in the in the other videos forget to save it guys sorry about that but i'll be doing a video to show you guys so this actually yes so this actually how the how the new pipes were being placed how we pipe them you see how we started everything new guys we should have done this before doing the platform but it has already been done so this was how um the primary ways to so guys this was the end of the phase two project so the phase two project actually cost me eighty four thousand. but there was a slight um mistake here which i have to correct that quick you see the what do you call it the the aluminium needs to be deducted from the eighty four thousand. 199 Ghana cities. So I'm gonna add in that the aluminum estimate from that, which is 20,000. Oh, sorry, 84,499 minus 20,340 Ghana cities. So the phase two actually cost me 64,000. It, it actually cost me 64,000. Uh, sorry. 64,159 so 64,159 so I have to clear I have to clear this uh, aluminum from the estimate from the from my illustrations and all that yes so I've cleared that from my illustration so actually the phase three was um let me show you the phase three um for just a quick update on the alumina that i did okay let me show you just a quick uh update on the phase three uh, i don't know if i'm gonna see that uh okay actually i've not made that yet okay so i'm gonna do that later okay guys so for now I think I have to need time to correct my illustrations. And I'll make that in the next video. The estimate of the, uh, what do you call it? 
for the wheat aluminium. It actually cost me eleven thousand something. It didn't reach up to twelve thousand. So I did uh, an estimate on that one too. So guys, sorry for the inconvenience.